Don't wonder, just ask us. So um, we're sitting on other sides. We. You got an email. I got an email from a Soul Garden light viewer. worker, a viewer, and a light worker also, because I think we're all pretty much light workers when you're in the collective hive of Soul Garden. That led us to suggestions to maybe flip it. I sit on this side. She sits on this side. So we listen. We're listening. We're listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, listening about everything. Oh, and I want to say that I listened to you. Yes. Um, I wasn't about the cupcake thing, if you remember the last episodes. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't, like, okay. And she brought me to Crum, this cupcake place, and I had food sex. Crack. It was food sex. But it was and also crumbs in Malibu. I mean, it doesn't get better. <laughs> it was, it was, I had. Um, <laughs> they wanted to hire me. It was. I'm yeah. like, their inventory was low. Yeah. I'm like, you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have this. Yeah. It, was, uh, it wasn't great. But we did very well. She walked in like Egozilla saying, you have to have this, you have to have this. And I'm like, I just want red velvet and I just want that. And she's like, that sucks. That's the lowest on the totem pole. Okay. Put me down. All right. Right away. Because that's what she always does anyway. I'm like, Until no. I yeah, exactly. So I had these cupcakes and they were amazing. And I know there was a little in the threads. There was about the cup try cupcakes and champagne. So yeah. I, I just want to say... Your cupcake idea, I did yes. bring them home and I did bring them to that party that I was talking about. Yes, as a, and it, you were a crazy hit. I was a crazy hit, and um, which was great because then that led into, hey, uh, by the way, can you talk to my dead aunt Susan? And I'm like... I um, would say that if you brought, you know, anything in. Correct. So, I'm Angela Eros. I'm a clairvoyant and a medium. And I'm Lauren Serafan, cupcake connoisseur. No, <laughs> and Egozilla. I'm here Ego for you. Yeah, she's here for you on the dime. <laughs> yes. The and uh, we're going we're gonna to take your questions. Yeah. Let's roll. Hi, guys. My husband travels for business all the time. Needless to say, mm -hmm. it puts a huge stress raising our 10-year-old son and the marriage. Lately, when he's come home, it just stresses me out. I'm almost happier when he's away. Is this the end of our marriage, or do I need to do something different? Um, I'm just going to start with... That's always hard, and you have to really make time mm -hmm. for each other. And they say that relationships, and this is a weird thing, the minute I heard it, I loved it, that relationships, the barometer of a relationship, is how you deal with um, entrances and exits. Like, are you excited when he comes in? Are you sad when he goes? Do you make a no. little bit of a bigger deal? I mean, that's something just to take a look at, of, you know, maybe make it um, a more important thing. Because I think you sometimes shut down and just, I know how to do this. And then you do it well, and when he comes in, it's like an intruder. And it's, it's hard. So there has to be a way of really making it work instead of just being upset about how it is right now. Okay. I'm going to pitch the intuitive softball a little bit different. Um, okay. Yeah. Here's, here's where you don't have a catcher's mitt. Um, you kind of know where this is going. Um, I want to say don't make the decision because of a child. Um, and she, uh, she does feel like she's better off when he's not there because she's grown spiritually on two different levels. I want to say her husband's, uh, he's not a bad guy. There's not a bad situation. You're not a, a bad, it, you, you have a good, um, I want to say nature about it, but I want to say um, start being true to your own heart because you kind of know your angle here. Stop looking for uh, questions and the daily fortune cookie because it's not that. It, this is a longer term um, thing. Um, I, also, I started reading you about two hours ago when I first walked in. He always starts early. I started early, you're lucky. Um, I don't know why, I just that's how it works with me. Um, I think that you have to, um, as you're doing your, you're being so good at your modality of spiritual healing and what you do in the healing community, I think you have to take it up a notch. And the Spirit's going to guide you to do that anyway, and you know you're on that path. So, you know, like a lot of people say, hey, you know, did you sign up to be a, you know, a medium or a, or a psychic or an intuitive? And I would say, uh, no, I didn't sign up for this because it's, it's been something I've always done. I signed up to be a stand-up comic because that's what I was doing. Right. And I did okay, but you want to know what? Um, when you sign up to do the psychic work, uh, be prepared for marriages to crumble, lessons to learn. You know, everyone thinks, oh, the healer always has to wait. No, the healer is always sick. The healer is always yeah. broken. The healer yeah. is always trying to fix this and that in their own lives because it's kind of like you, you set yourself on this mission to serve spirit. 
you know, you're going to go through some hard, but heavy it's, water. But it's also... It's the path of when, the mystic. When there's nothing really horribly wrong, except that there's a bit of the oomph missing, that's a tough thing because there's a friendship, there's time spent. It's a hard decision, and sometimes you look for things that are wrong, or you want to pick a fight. You need to really look within and make some hard decisions. I also want to say that there's someone that's really good for giving you advice. Um, I want to say look for somebody giving you advice with a, like, a, like, a, like the name Lindsay. Lohan? A, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Like a Lindsay or a Linda or something like that. And um, I want to say you kind of, um, it takes about, okay, um, they're showing me a time frame and I usually rarely work with that um, because things are so, can change so much. But I think this is a two year thing. So wherever you started this one bit of feelings, it's been on a two-year cycle. For some reason, it's showing me a two, and it's not two months. It's definitely a two-year so thing. So should she be into year one of the two? I think she's like she started like she's kind of retrograded a little bit. Yeah, you already started this process. See, sometimes I'm good just sitting next to you. Yeah, for, on me. for a noun, <laughs> for one noun. Thanks. <laughs> um, but like I'm saying is, um, you know, you signed up for a path to be a mystic, so don't expect uh, love, light, rainbows, and uh, unicorns taking shits outside your window, because what happens is when we're doing and being healers and our, like, uh, our readings and what we give for each other and the way we provide services of healing, we're given the path of like, you know, like Jesus was beaten the hell up and, you know, look at all the other healers. And it's not saying, you know, I'm comparing myself to a Jesus energy. I'm just saying, look at all the other healers. Or the Nobody other wants to hear the message. Nobody wants to hear the <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of like your path and I'm gonna say honey you got some stuff coming up in the next few years that are gonna question so many different things about yourself that's why you're on the spiritual path that's why you do what you do and you're gonna up your cred and you're gonna up your value of what you oh, do wow. with your spiritual healings and I think that it's gonna be because your marriage is something that you're looking at now because you are the depth you're I'm trying to see where your chakra deficit is Boom, I'm okay. I'm, I'm definitely up on the third chakra, so I'm saying it's more um, it's self esteem, intuition, that type of thing. It's kind of not saying you're off, saying that you just have so much you don't know what to do with it. So it's like you're imploding with brilliance, but you're just, you can't get it out of your head fast enough. Um, with this marriage, um, think about it, you know the answer. Um, and start making the steps accordingly, but know that this is part of a process because it's not a category. Don't define it, and that's what you're trying to do. And when it comes to children, children want to be in a loving environment. That's it, and it doesn't have to be. So if it's not that loving or if it's complicated or confusing, um, maybe you take some of that confusion out of it. So, you know, everyone always likes to say, well, I stayed for the kids. They say that. They wouldn't. Just right, stay and that. don't you just do gotta that be either. Honest. Yeah, don't do that either. And then, as spirits basically saying, it'll all smell like roses. That's a good smell. All right. Hey, sometimes hey, I have I, Claire Gustans, which is clear smelling. It's that's a, nice. Roses. It's coming up roses. Yeah. Done. So taking the path of the mystic. I'm sorry to tell you, you got a lot coming on, a lot going on in the next two years, and this is a part. Of, you know what? You have the ammunition of the outcome. Just know that you can you can use that and um, good luck to you and uh, i'm angela eros lauren Serafan. roses cupcakes <laughs> no i'm just saying if you have a question email us 